Okay then, so this cooler does have two different modes. It's got a quiet mode, which does put the fans in more of a silent optimized mode. Then it got performance mode, which does go absolute to the bells and it does push them as far as it can. So this is for a Ryzen 9 5900X for quiet mode, Cinebench R23, the idles with 29 Celsius, max is an 82, Blender Classroom, the idles are 29, the max was an 80, Blender BMW, the idles are 29, and the max was a 79 Celsius, 3 to Mark CPU test, the idles were thir uh, 29 Celsius, and a max of 71 Celsius. Now, performance mode. Cinebench R23, the idle was 29 Celsius with a max of 79 Celsius. Blender Classroom, 29. Our idle at 77 for max. Blender BMW, the idle to 29. The max was a 77 Celsius. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles were 29 Celsius at a max of 67 Celsius. Now, I've added in my editing ring be, uh, rig because it is latest it's on am5 it's a uh, rx 70 900 but i've enabled pbo which does put it to the performance of the 70 900 x so it would be pulling a lot more uh, wattage so for quiet mode cinebench r23 the idles are 35 celsius with a max of 86 blender classroom the idles were 35 with a max of 84. Blender BMW, the idles were 35 Celsius with a max of 84. 3D Mark CPU test, the idles were 35 with a 67 Celsius max. This was on quiet mode with AM5. Now for performance mode, the Cinebench R23 idles with 30 Celsius with a max of 85. The Blender Classroom, the idles were 30 Celsius with a max of 83. Blender BMW, the idles are 30 with a max with, of 83 Celsius and 3D Mark CPU test was an idle of 30 Celsius with 72 Celsius. Okay then, so you've seen what comes in the box, you've also seen the overall thermals. Now what I will say for Be Quiet, this is definitely a better looking design than the, the Pro 4. Just look at that. Look at it. Now, before I will say, I would like to thank Be Quiet for sending this out for a review. I was meant to get it before launch, but due to shipping from Germany to the UK, it was a couple of days late. So I'm doing the review a few days later, but still I managed to get one sent out before launch. But of course I didn't get it before launch, but that doesn't matter. I, what I will say this the overall aesthetic design, they've definitely upped their game. And it's living up to the actual Be Quiet brand. And this is the quietest air cooler I've had of any other brand. It is very quiet. Even in quiet mode or performance mode, I could deal with both of them. Performance mode, it does push up the RPM on both sides, both fans. And what I will say is I could live with that daily. And as you know that I don't like very i don't like loud air coolers or aios but this i could run this at 100 percent fan speed and it would not bother me because it's that quiet now in terms of the performance of course it's up there with the best ones i've got here price i'll make sure to put it here because the day of uh recording i haven't i don't actually know the price i believe it's around the 90 D pound to a hundred pound mark. I could be wrong, but I'll make sure to put it in the video just in case you guys want to know the price. Now, of course, I added my test rig to it. It's because I thought it'd be something different. This is a brand new cooler, so I thought, why not put in AM5? Yes, it's only 7900, but if you unlock it in the BIOS, put a PBO enabled, and I did put a profile of 170 watts to 240, and it stayed at 170 watts during the test. So that does give you more of a, a realism when it comes to the latest CPUs from AMD. It performed very well, even with the 5900X with PBO enabled. To be honest, I was quite surprised, and I was more surprised that my test, my actual <laughs> tin rig, was fine the idles were the lowest i've ever seen in my life on that rig 
and I usually use a one uh, a, a single tower, but honestly, that's the layer the lowest temps I've ever seen. And overall, the design is fantastic. And of course, it's got a wait, 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 wait. There you go. Right. Sorry, it's a little bit finicky. It is. Now, the overall design they've done in the middle fan, of course, has got this like little bracket housing with magnets. And of course, there's the Q and P for quiet and performance mode. Little toggle switch because both fans are connected with this like little connector, as you can see, but there. And then, of course, it comes off to a four pin and then you put that to your header. And of course... They have also updated the mountain. I am very happy they changed the mountain. Before, this part would be separate and you'd have to add it on inside the middle of the cooler. Is a lot better for mountain. A lot easier as well. And of course, it's got the Pro fans in the front by here. And it's got a 135 custom Pro fan as well. Be quiet back in the high-end air cooler game. The Pro 4 is still a great cooler, but this is definitely a better upgrade. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and as well as the weekend coming. This is Richard Welsh Tech. Good. Bye.